Good morning, gentlemen. Happy Tuesday. And uh, today is uh, April the 7th. And today we are going to uh, start the end of our uh, discussion on electricity with what you've all been waiting for. Typically, when we talk about electricity, we're talking about uh, you know the electric current that runs from a socket in the wall through a machine of ours, right? Chargers for cell phones, uh, lamps, computers, TVs, um, anything else that you plug into a socket or anything that runs on a battery. Well, those things are electric circuits, all right? They, they are forcing electrons to run through a conductor and do work for us as they run through that conductor. That's essentially what an electric current is designed to do. But the way that this has to work is that we have to build a circuit. Now, as a word of uh, caution, everything that we talk about today is going to be what's known as a direct circuit, where all of the electrons are running in one direction. In reality, the stuff that you plug into a wall is what we call alternating current. And we're not going to talk about that until two units from now, um, after we've talked about magnetism. So. Uh, so what is an electric circuit? A circuit consists of an energy source, a connecting wire, and a resistor, okay? And we're going to assume that the, the wire itself has a total resistance of zero ohms, okay? Zero ohms uh, in terms of resistance. Now, uh, what do we need in order to build a circuit? Well, whoa, that came out really fast. Uh, the first thing that we need is a power source. And for today, we're going to only talk about direct current circuits, DC circuits. And so the power source is going to be a cell, which we draw like this, the a big line and a little line with conductors attached to them. This side is the positive side. This side is the, the little side is the negative side. And so the electrons Come on. The electrons are traveling out this end, going around the circuit and coming back in this end. An ammeter is a meter that we use to measure current, right? Amps, ammeter. And so we uh, draw that like this. A voltmeter is a high resistance meter, which we use to, to measure the potential difference between uh, the two sides, and we draw that like so. And finally, a resistor is whatever the uh, piece of equipment is that's using the electric power, all right? It could be a, a light bulb, it could be your cell phone, it could be uh, your refrigerator, all right? Anything that, that uses that electricity. But we represent that with a series of squiggly lines. Now, this entire lesson, by the way, gentlemen, is gonna be tough because I have to draw a bunch of stuff. So. Um, please be uh, as careful as you can with all of this. Uh, now, let's move on. So an electric circuit is uh, something that consists of a, um, of a power source and a resistor attached by uh, uh, conducting wires, all right? And there are several kinds of electric circuits. The first is what we call a series circuit. And so I'm going to draw a series circuit here. Here's my positive side of my battery, uh, my cell. All right. If I put two of them together, I call it a battery. All right. One cell, by the way, one, what we call a battery is not a battery. All right. You have to have two or more to make a battery. Each of those little things is a cell. In any event, um, I'm going to attach that to. One resistor, sorry, oh my God, looks like a four-year-old do that. Um, but, so, come on, the voltage uh, is here. I'm going to call this resistor one. I'm going to call this resistor two. I'm going to call this resistor three, okay? And so the circuit itself 
has only one path for the electrons to travel through. Come on. I hate this mouse. I'm going to have to get a new one. Um, so the electrons are traveling from the negative end of the battery around this way. They're going to pass through resistor 1, then resistor 2, and then resistor 3. So what do we need to know about a series circuit? Whoa. Well, the total current in the circuit, in other words, the number of electrons that pass a given point per second is going to be the same no matter which resistor we measure it at. So if I put an ammeter here, all right, to measure the current through resistor number one, or an ammeter here to measure the current through resistor number two, or an ammeter here to measure the current through resistor number three, right, that's going to give me um, the same reading no matter what. The voltage, on the other hand, and I'm not going to draw all three, but just one. I'm going to attach a voltmeter in parallel. Now, look at that. Whoops. Don't run through the ammeter. But the current has two paths now. It can run through the resistor or it can run around the resistor. So there's two paths. So that measures the, the electric potential on this side and the electric potential on this side. And it tells us what the difference is. So the total voltage in a battery, whether it's a nine volt battery or most of the cells that we use are 1.5 volt batteries. So some of that potential is gonna be used here, some here, and some here. The total resistance in, the in a series circuit is uh, simply equal to the sum of all of the resistors. Now, uh, several things. First, on your handy dandy reference tables in the lower left-hand corner, you can see a set of uh, circuit symbol diagrams, okay? So they're all there for you. And the um, rules, whoops, for series circuits are also on your, your uh, reference tables. Okay, so that brings us to example number nine. All right, now, this, again, is gonna require me to do a little bit of drawing here. So please bear with me and my, my uh, uh, my work here. But a 10 ohm resistor, a 15 ohm resistor, and a 5 ohm resistor are connected in series across a 90 volt battery. Okay, What is the effective resistance in the circuit? By that I mean what's the total resistance in the circuit and uh, what is the current in the circuit. Okay, So I'm going to begin this by drawing myself a circuit. All right, So here's my cell. There's resistor number one. There's resistor number two. And there's resistor number three. Okay. Now, R1 was 15 ohms. R2 is equal to 10 ohms. I'm sorry, this is so sloppy, gentlemen. And R3 has uh, a value of 5 ohms. And, I'll, and again, it's 5, not 50. Uh, and the voltage, the total voltage, V sub T, is equal to 90 volts. This is really hard to do. I'm sorry about this. All right. But look at that diagram. So there's my, my cell. Now, what do I know? Well, I know that the total resistance in this circuit is going to equal the sum of all of these resistances. So 15 plus 10 plus 5 gives me a grand total of a 30 ohm resistance. That's going to be my value of RT. Okay. Then I can use Ohm's law. Actually, I'm going to move to our next uh, slide. Um, but then I can use Ohm's law to calculate the value of the total voltage, right? Voltage um, is going to equal um, the first current. I don't know if I actually went to the next slide or not. Okay, so in now in this case, 
the first question I was asked was, uh, what is the total resistance? So R1 plus R2 plus R3, and that's going to give me a grand total of 30 ohms. All right. Then, as I said, we're going to uh, try to calculate the value of the total current. So using Ohm's law, VT is going to equal IT times RT. And uh, therefore, IT is going to equal uh, the total voltage divided by the total resistance. That's going to give me a 90 volt potential difference uh, divided by a um, uh, 30 ohm whoops resistance which gives me a current of 3 amps now just for for kicks and giggles so, and that's the end of the problem but just for kicks and giggles i want you to go back to the original diagram that i drew and i want you to think about how much voltage is used up in each of the resistors. So now that I know the total current is three amps, okay, keep that in mind because remember that the uh, current through resistor one and resistor two and resistor three is all going to be three amps because every single electron has to pass through each of the three resistors, okay? And so now that I know the total current, let's go back here. Now, in this case, if I have a, um, a resistance of 15 ohms, well, my voltage at number one is going to be 3 amps times 15 ohms, or 45. Okay. My total, uh, my resistance here is for V2 is going to equal 3 amps times 10 ohms. This is awfully bright, I'm sorry. Uh, 30 uh, volts. And here, oops, uh, V3 is going to equal I3 times R3, which is going to be 3 amps times 5 ohms, which is 15 volts. Now, what do you notice here? Well, uh, 45 plus 30 is 75, plus another 15 is dun, 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 90 volts. So what that means is that all of the potential energy has traveled through this circuit all right, and been lost in the circuit. We've used up every volt of potential uh, between the negative end of the battery and the positive end of the, uh, um, or the, actually this is a cell. Um, so the negative end of the cell to the positive end of the cell. Okay. Now that brings us to the end of this discussion on uh, series circuits. There are some great videos out there online today. I have not attached one to this uh, uh, podcast because I just, I didn't have time this morning, to be honest. Um, but uh, I, I, uh, recommend Mr. Anderson's the Bozeman science videos on uh, series circuits are great. Um, your homework for tonight is to do questions 14 through 16. Draw a diagram of the circuit if when required um, and make sure that you use that as your tool. All right. This is going to be this is a tough set of lessons to get through. Um, if there if you have any suggestions as to how I can do this better please let me know. Gentlemen, happy Tuesday, and I look forward to uh, hearing from you today and seeing you tomorrow.